Hey guys, here's your Earth News Team, Silky and Rudy. Again, as always, Rudy's not paying much attention, um, but I have to tell you something that is fascinating since we're always like keeping ourselves busy with volcanic eruptions and earthquakes and while i'm reporting about this i'm also telling you that the scientists are also saying all the time we know that we don't know we know more about what's going on on the surface of the moon then we know what is going on deep inside the earth or underneath the earth's crust so that's why they can't really precisely predict volcanic eruptions or earthquakes or something like this but now listen to I'll, I'll tell you a headline and then you might think I'm crazy but I'm not this is really what scientists have discovered I mean I might still be crazy <laughs> but not because of that so here's the headline blobs of an alien world may lurk deep inside the earth that sounds absolutely crazy right but first my thinking was oh yeah that would explain why all these alien sightings that they had in san diego recently that the navy also recorded and cited they were coming from out of the water and then shooting up in the air so i always said well maybe the aliens have been living inside the earth for like millions of years that would explain that you know for thousands of thousands of years they now found out that there have been these recordings of aliens the same sites at the old egypt times and stuff like this but this video is not about aliens guys don't worry it's really about what they found um inside the earth so the theory is that Two continent-sized clumps of rock near the Earth's core have remained a mystery for years. So they have found out about this, but they had absolutely no clue what it is. So Rudy, now pay attention. Everyone, pay attention. Get a coffee or something else and stay with me. So could these continent-sized clumps be pieces of an alien planet you hear me right an alien planet so did the earth just swallow up another planet like whoop <laughs> woody like you eat your food when i put it down i always say he breathes it in because he's so fast and he's so greedy for food he takes one breath and the whole plate is gone so no they're saying four and a half billion years ago Basically, shortly after the Earth has formed, there was a small planet about the size of Mars that strayed into the Earth's path, resulting in a cataclysmic collision, how it's called, like an absorbing collision. And uh, I don't know, basically, well, you know, I live in BC where people are bad, bad drivers. So what's happening here on a weekly daily base a cataclysmic collision a car is driving inside a house and then it's inside the house so that's what happened to this planet it was going inside the earth and they the scientists if i say say they like not weirdos right they might be weirdos but you know what i mean scientists call this protoplanet Theia. And they say that its impact has fundamentally changed our world. There it goes. Did you know that? Probably not. And I hope you want to hear a little bit more about that. Rudy still doesn't want to. That's me. When I was going to university and it was early in the morning and I had like a lecture at 8 a.m. or something, I did go. But then I ended up like him until I then decided, okay, Anything that's before 1 p.m., I'm not going because I, I'll end up like this anyways. So I just get the script and I can teach, like, train at home, right? I'm not a morning person at all. You might have noticed this when you look at the times when I upload my videos. So look at this image here. This is, of course, not real. This is made by an artist, um, um, made an um, impression that this depicts the collision between Earth and Theia 
4.5 billion years ago. The credit of this picture is from NASA, um, JPL Caltech, so not some random image. So this is very interesting. When this collision happened, um, it threw enough material from both planets out into space. And here it comes. Here it comes to produce the moon. The moon, did you know that? So the metal cores of Earth and Theia have merged into one. And there is a new study out now that says when this happened, that the planet's rocky mantles mixed together sort of thing, pieces of Theia may have survived, even to this day. And they're also saying that it's very possible that an intact piece of the proto-planet Theia is locked away inside the moon as well. So how does the interior of the Earth look anyway so that we get a little bit of a better imagination where Theia is? So Earth interior is split into four layers. And here there's an animation, there's a picture where you can see this a little bit better. So we have the crust, we have the mantle, and we have the outer liquid core, and then we have the inner solid core. And near the bottom of the mantle, there are two immense formations that they have discovered in the 1980s. And how did they discover this? They were studying seismic waves that were sweeping through the planet in the aftermath of large earthquakes. And then you, you know, the waves are going, the waves are going, and then if objects changed or um, the physiology change, you can detect objects, right? So it's known as large low velocity provinces or LLVPs. These two formations stand out from the rest of the material that is around them because the seismic waves travel slower through these regions than anywhere else at the same depth beneath the earth. So something must be different and that's how it was detected in the 1980s. So in this image here where you see that red core, there's two views of earth um, depicting the locations of these two large velocity provinces, how they call them basically at the base of the Earth's mantle, right? So look at that, you can see it, right? For decades, scientists have studied how seismic waves are traveling through Earth. And scientists have shown that changes in the speed of the waves point to differences in the composition and the density of the rocks that they're passing through right? So they're using this also to detect magma chambers or to learn more about magma chambers. So these LLVPs, where are they located? One is deep under the continent of Africa and the other one is spanning the South Pacific Ocean. There is something very unusual but still, so far, their presence and their different composition have largely defied any explanation. Of course, you can just drill in there and check it out, right? But now, an international team of researchers that is led by Kian Yuan from the California Institute of Technology proposes that these LLVPs could be remnants of Theia's mantle that have accumulated deep within the earth over the billions of years 
since that protoplanet collided with Earth. So the giant impact didn't melt the whole Earth. It only melted half. That is what they're saying. So Caltech says that simulations showed that the energy from the collision with Theia was concentrated in the crust and in the upper mantle of the Earth, and that those regions were melted, but they left the lower mantle cooler and more solid. So because of that, that allowed some impacted materials to get entrapped into the solid mantle material. That is their explanation. So then Yuan and his colleagues did run computer simulations and they have covered the entire 4.5 billion years of the mantle evolu evolution of the Earth since that giant impact. So they have worked from the assumption, um, from that assumption that it's trapped inside and then they have added that Thea's material would be chemically different from the Earth's material. And here you see that picture where the, you see the different temperatures, the composition, and, the, and then on the bottom, the viscosity. So what was the result looking at all the 4.5 billion years of simulated mantle behavior? Um, this is this picture. This is what has revealed two large clumps of Thea mantle material that has accumulated just above the core over time. So the simulations showed that the alien materials from Thea would eventually sink to the bottom of the Earth's mantle. So they're moving. So these simulations showed that the alien materials from planet Theia would eventually sink to the bottom of the Earth's mantle. And also, remarkably, it collected into two blobs that roughly match the dimensions and positions of the LLVPs that are seen, have been seen in the 1980s in these seismic data. So it's a match. So these blobs are indeed remnants of an ancient protoplanet. Given how long they have been circulating through the mantle, the researchers suggest that they may have had some influences on how our planet developed. Isn't that amazing? So this could even include forcing an early start to the process of plate tectonics that has forged and changed Earth's continents over billions of years, right? So what scientists are saying is that it's a logical consequence of the idea that the LLVPs are indeed remnants of Theia is that they are very ancient. In a Caltech press release, they stated, quote, it makes sense, therefore, to investigate next what consequences they had for Earth's earliest evolution, such as the onset of subduction before conditions were suitable for modern style plate tectonics, the formation of the first continents, and the origin of the very oldest surviving terrestrial minerals. Wow! So in addition, the researchers point out that giant impacts such as the one between Earth and Theia are thought to have been common during the final steps of the formation of the solar system. So as we are, humankind, so to speak, is exploring other planetary bodies, they could find similar remnants of ancient protoplanets, they might find that in the interiors of other planets as well. And actually, 
there's a very interesting video um, about the Shackleton crater on the moon. And uh, I want to show you pieces of this um, because they're also exploring the possibility that Theia has been locked away inside of the moon. So yeah, guys, I thought that is interesting to know since we are keeping ourselves so busy with what's going on underneath the Earth's crust in many areas, Campi Flegre in Italy, in Iceland, and in, in many other areas. There was just an eruption of at Kilauea in Hawaii. Check out the video in the end screen. But also there's fascinating news about the Titan submersible disaster. There's new pictures actually off the wreck on the seafloor near the Titanic and the last minutes are revealed in the hearings that started Monday in a Coast Guard hearing. They revealed what really happened in the last minutes and they're showing the last text communications between the Polar Prince and the Titan and uh, it's saddening but this is the information we've been waiting for 15 months. So check out that video in the end screen as well. And of course, the Bayesian super yacht that sank in Italy, it's still a mystery. I have made an update about that as well. Check it out here as well. So just subscribe to my channel to check out all these videos, guys. I hope to see you very soon. If you want to become a member of this channel, which I would love, um, I need five silver level supporters. Then we will start with the first exclusive silver level members only live stream. So sign up for that. But also if you're just a basic supporter, it really helps my channel a great deal. So Thank you so much to all the new subscribers and members there. The link is in the description of this video or just click the join button here. I have an extra playlist only for members where you can see all the videos and postings that I release of behind the scene. Um, I also have made a behind the scenes video of me and Udi for this video. So yeah, guys. Thanks so much. And also thank you for buying me the coffees on my buymeacoffee.com website. The link is also here in this video. Um, it's greatly appreciated that you're supporting this channel with your views, with your coffees, with your supers, with your memberships, and with just being here. Thanks, guys. Leave this video a like. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.